Hello everyone, welcome to Kumari's Home Cooking. How are you guys doing? Today I'm going to show you how to do lime pickle. This is how the lime looks. Okay, and uh, we need 15 limes to do the lime pickle. So let's get started. Okay, here's the lime. Cut the both ends. This is how it should be. This is how it must be. Okay. Okay, already cut the limes. I'm going to show how to do it. So usually people put a lot of salt in the pickle, but I don't really put so much salt. I'm going to use only two tablespoons of salt because there's a lot of pickles very salty. This is my mom, mom's recipe. She did it in her 1950s. So I'm going to add in one cup of vinegar, another half cup, just one and a half cup of vinegar. I'm going to mix it. gonna mix it and then I'm gonna put it on the stove it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to cook so usually people put it in the hot sun and leave it in a bottle for weeks and then they do other style but this is my mother's style so it's very easy and it's very nice to eat so I'm going to on the stove. I'm going to leave it for 20 minutes. Then we will come back to it. Okay. While it's cooking, I am going to show you the spices we need to dry fry on the frying pan. This is one teaspoon of fenugreek. I'm going to put it in the frying pan. This is one handful of curry leaf. One teaspoon of cumin. And five dried chilies. So, I'm going to dry fry in the frying pan. Okay, this is how you dry fry in the frying pan. Don't overcook it. You have to slightly brown the spices. So when you get the smell of the spices while you are doing it, so that means it's already done and then quickly off the stove and leave it aside. Then I will show you guys how to do it. Okay, this is already done. It only takes three minutes to dry fry them. And then it smells so good and don't burn it. We are done with this. While we are waiting for another 10 minutes for the pickle, then we will get ready to do. 
right now I'm going to add in one big piece of jaggery jaggery if you add in jaggery it tastes really good because it brings in the sweetness sourness saltiness it's really good this is my mom's recipe so I'm going to put this in we have another five minutes more then I'll show you the other okay it's already 20 minutes look at this it's all already done I'm gonna close the stove and I'm gonna grind the spices so I'm gonna grind the spices the spice blender this is how it looks so I'm gonna put it in here and blend it I already blend it it's very coarse you don't have it does it don't have to be very very fine and then you're gonna I'm gonna mix this inside here you know this this gives a very wonderful smell because of the curry leaf and everything inside you can eat the pickle after one week and uh, it this one goes with all the curries like fish curry meat curry chicken curry so it's going to taste really good. And one more thing, you have to add in two teaspoons of plain chili powder to make it look colorful. Isn't that nice? So you have to let it cool down and then you have to put it in a bottle don't put it in plastic container put it in, in a bottle or clay clay pot or whatever so this this one takes a while to cool down so I'm gonna leave it aside and I have one more thing to do okay the last procedure is you're gonna add in gingerly oil this is made out of sesame seed. It's called black sesame seed oil. So I'm going to add in four tablespoons. And I'm going to put in the poppy seeds when the oil is hot. Look at the pickle. Isn't that nice and beautiful? Trust me, it's going to really taste good. It's not going to be like regular pickle, you know, it tastes so salty and all that. This is going to be really good. Okay, the oil is hot now. I'm going to put in the poppy seed. Once it pops, up, pops out, then you quickly close the stove and then you have to put it in the pickle. It's going to pop anytime. Okay, it's already popping. You can hear the pop sounds. So I'm going to throw it in the pickle. So it's done. So wait for one, one uh, wait for a few hours. When it's cool, you can put it in the container. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and comment. See you in next recipe.